So the other day, this is the uh, music computer room by the way, the other day uh, I managed to recap and finally get the uh, proper Apple II screen going for the 8-bit weapons DR, DMS drummer. But um, there's been another another Apple II that has been repaired just now by the Epron 9. He's in there. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Hey, Simon, how you doing? We're good. So turn so it on. This came undead, uh, replace the reefer cap, which is floating around here. Mm -hmm. He uh, spit burning, burning. guts everywhere. And mm. it'd help if I plugged it in, uh, wouldn't it? So this is a Euro Plus Apple II. And we have and white. If we do the control reset, because it has a weird, a weird thing. It needs to stick dish drives and stuff to it. Yeah, yeah. It does, but. Oh, that's another thing to do. So before this, um, it wasn't booting properly. It had RAM issues, didn't it? Yeah, the RAM was. Uh, <clears throat> here's a few examples of uh, the RAM issues of missing pins on them, doing their usual jazz, being dead and whatnot. Uh, one of them actually fell off when I did it, so I uh, soldered it back on. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, one of the uh, customers actually uh, lent me a little file which I used to grind oh, down really? the uh, pins. One of the on. visitors yeah. of the museum. Oh, that's good. It's lent me a file which I've now returned to. And then, uh, I guess, are there these cleaner ones? Yeah, the clean ones are from <clears> the uh, RAM expansion board that was Yeah, in we it. don't need that. And right this, now, also, we? This, this one also seems to be a RAM expansion board. Yes. And I just made it crap by touching it. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, just um, swapping out the, uh, the RAM chips. And it was a nice easy fix. It was a nice easy nice fix, which is always helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, great news. Well, what what can we load onto this? Maybe I'll try and get an SD card interface for this one. Yes. Do you have any like double sided tape we can stick the speaker on somewhere? Yeah, maybe. No, I don't have any double sided tape, but I'm sure we can find some. Well, I'm sure we'll still find something. But yeah. Anyway, cheers, Simon. No problem. Cheers. Hello and welcome back. And so we're back with the Apple II Euro Plus in this case. I keep calling it the Apple IIe e because those are the most common. And so, after getting it fixed with the RAM issues last time, a few other issues popped up. First off, the little light bulb in here had gone pop, so that's been replaced with a little, LED, little yellow LED with a little 220 Looks pretty uh, good. resistor. Yeah, actually come out quite nicely. Yeah. And some of the keys were dead, so I uh, removed the offending keycaps, used my bottle of IPA, which was old bathroom cleaner, and then just proceeded to clean it and then just actuate the keys. Interestingly, I don't know if this is normal because I'm not used to these machines, but the um, the O is square, the zero is normal. Maybe so, maybe that's why it's square because... Yeah. Well, hopefully somebody somebody knows, so leave a comment if that is normal. I might try it on some of the other machines square actually. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's another machine over there you could reset it without the floppy drive and then yeah. see what that does. Oh, well, there we go. Um, uh, that seems to be up and running, so it's just case of sticking floppy drives and stuff on it and seeing what it does. I'll get another SD card floppy drive for it and um, we'll, we'll have a go. And then well, it can go in the computer room. Awesome. <laughs> I'll get the Apple screen up again. Yeah, we've got the Apple screen. RAM is happy. It's a bit liney this. But there we go. Oh, yeah, it's just the monitor needs some adjustment. Awesome. Thumbs up. <laughs>